is the biggest pop star in the world. Her latest song that you heard her fans, her little monster singing down there, Born This Way, already topping the Billboard charts. Lady Gaga had everyone talking at the Grammys where she took home another three trophies on Sunday. And she is here this morning to talk about a lot of things, but also about the work that she is doing all around the world to help so many others. Take a look. In concert, at award shows, and on the red carpet, she is an unforgettable head turner. She is Lady Gaga, an entertainer who's been called the celebrity of the 21st century. I love you guys. At the age of 24, the songstress has already done the unthinkable, sold 60 million singles worldwide, topped the charts with six number one songs, had her videos viewed over a billion times on YouTube and been dubbed a cultural and spiritual leader by the first lady of daytime, Oprah herself. Her newest song, Born This Way, is skyrocketing up the charts around the world and is proving to be an iTunes phenomenon. Make no mistake, say fans, Lady Gaga is a superstar like no other, a classically trained pianist who writes all of her own material and a woman passionately devoted to fighting for social justice, notably for gay rights. Repeal, don't ask, don't tell. Lady Gaga! Earlier this week, Lady Gaga racked up three more Grammy Awards and stole the show, arriving in an egg before hatching on stage. Hatching on May 23rd, Lady Gaga's newest album, Born This Way. It's expected, like all other things Lady Gaga touches, to be something the world will be talking about for some time to come. No doubt. And here, live with us this morning. Good none other morning, than America. Oh, you're <laughs> up and you're awake and you're ready to go. Surprisingly, I had about seven cups of coffee. Oh, with diamonds? Yes. In them? yes. Just floating fake ones. <laughs> you look fantastic. Now, how so long? So do you. You look really lovely thank you, this thank morning. You. How long does it take you to come up with your outfit? Um, well, today was a, a latex condom inspired outfit because we heard to talk about safe sex. Mm -hmm. So it was quite easy. So there was always a theme to uh, whatever you're wearing. I like themes, but uh, just uh, today I really wanted to head to toe be representative of what we uh, women and people all over the world need to be concerned about, which is uh, the leading cause of death in women all around the world, which is HIV. HIV. And you have been extremely passionate about this. You were here last year uh, with your friend Cindy Lauper. And yes, it's a campaign. Cindy. <laughs> I am. I am minus one today, but I will try to do double duty. Uh huh. What is it about this campaign? Uh, because I know that there are so many people who want you to be, who want you to lend your voice, and there's only so much that you can do. And you're very authentic about well, being Mac a part of this. Well, Mac is authentic. And that is why I'm here. I'm here because when I was very young, I used to walk down the street in New York City, where I am from, mm -hmm. and I would see Mac in the window, and I would see all kinds of people, uh, not just uh, beautiful, airbrushed women, uh, but real people, real people from all walks of life. And Mac has been fighting for identity and for passion and love and protection for so long, and that's why I'm here. Uh, we raised $34 million uh, last year, and I want to raise $50 million this year well, for AIDS to save lives worldwide. Actually, I brought you some lipsticks. Oh, did you? Well, let me put this down so I can see. I believe they're in the price range of what I'm allowed to give you. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you're, <laughs> thank, oh, you're good. You're so good. This is, you're um, no. This, they're fourteen fifty each. This is the lipstick. I designed the oh, colors, and um, this uh, you know, is the lip glass. And you know what? I lo a lip glass. It's not lip the glass. glass. No. And you know what? I really appreciate, among other things, a hundred percent of the proceeds. Not like a portion of it, but no. if you buy this, all of it, all the money. When you goes. buy that lipstick, you are shade. you are sending fourteen dollars and fifty cents to save a woman's mm -hmm. life, and I think what or a man's life. Uh, I think what's most important about this campaign is that it is authentic, it is genuine, mm -hmm. and. Uh, more, most importantly, I want to get people started at home at, at a, a younger age uh, with their children talking about HIV, mm -hmm. talking about AIDS, talking about safe sex. Uh, my mother, uh, who's here, hello mom, don't, don't put her on camera though. 
Like She's not camera my family ready? private. Oh, I know you uh, do. But she talked to me about sex at a young age, and uh, she always taught me to be self-aware. That's my new song, Born This Way. I say my mama told me when I was young. Mm -hmm. So my mother taught me a lot of things when I was young. And my first experience with my mother that I remember mostly was when she would put her lipstick on in the morning, and she would talk to me about life. So I encourage women all over the world, and men, if you fancy lipstick, who knows, mm -hmm. uh, to uh, speak speak with your uh, your friends your your parents your sisters your brothers your uncles your aunts uh, all the loved ones in your life about safe sex about protection uh, because it is a 100% uh, uh, disease that we can protect and that we can prevent but uh, it is 0% curable it's a conversation as you know that it's difficult for some people to have but necessary for us all to have, and I know that the campaign has raised since its inception $200 million, and you're doing a great part in that. An artist, an activist, you see yourself as both? Yes, I'm most certainly an activist mm -hmm. uh, for equality and an activist for um, youth uh, protection and social justice. Mm -hmm. And I want to see uh, more and more organizations like the Mac AIDS Fund prosper worldwide. It is such a beautiful organization and I'm so blessed to be a part of it as a woman from New York <laughs> and as someone who uh, feels very in touch with young people. I And, and you know, it's what? funny because when I created the color of the lipstick mm -hmm. you know taupe is a funny color because sometimes it can look very white and it can and it kind of only works with certain skin tones right. and I wanted to make a taupe color that a a woman or a man of any skin color could wear and it, it truly is that you have achieved that and you do have so many that follow you and I, I'm remiss to say congratulations for Thank Sunday. You. And let, can I just say, when I saw you in the audience and when they said your name, your genuine shock. And oh. I'm thinking like, <laughs> How can you be surprised that... Uh, I so genuinely did not think I was going really? to win. No, I really didn't. And I was so shocked and so honored and so humbled. And it was a very joyous day uh, being mm -hmm. able to sing Born This Way for the first time. Yeah. And it's kind of interesting that it came out Friday and then today I'm here talking about, uh, you know, uh, self-love. And, you know, you, you brought up uh, before that uh, talking about uh, sex with your, your children is sort of this, like, very difficult thing. Thing, and it's a bit tab it's a taboo conversation, but it is shame and stigma around those things mm. that uh, makes people not protect themselves. It makes you uh, not treat yourself with respect. Uh, Born This Way is about self-love, and Mac AIDS Fund is about self-love. It is a perfect uh, combination, and, and Born This Way, the, the, it has just already skyrocketed, and it just resonates. Thank you. With so many Thank you. People. I, what do you think it is about? about your music, about this, and I know we have to wait until the full album to come out in uh, the latter part of May, but what is it about it, do you think? You know, Born This Way is so much bigger than me. It is just, it's not about me at all, really. The, the song, when I wrote it, I just knew it was destined to reach so many people all over the world, mm -hmm. and uh, the most humbling thing for me this past weekend has been watching uh, the fans just harness onto the record and, and people yeah. that weren't my fans before really, really enjoying the music and feeling uplifted and a sense of positivity. Well, you, you have that way about you and I, I'm gonna be, they're screaming at me, ask about the egg, ask about the, everyone is just fascinated about how you entered the Grammys. You do make an entrance as you did here at, at GMA. How long were you in the egg? I was in there for three days. <laughs> <laughs> For three days, I was I was Viva glamming <laughs> for three whole days, and you know it what? because I wanted to have a rebirth, and uh -huh. I think the universe needs to have a rebirth. I think we all need to be inside a vessel for three whole days, thinking about how we can love ourselves more, protect ourselves more, live life with more passion, and look not outwards for validation, but inwards. Look inside of yourself to your spirit and your inner light. And buy that lipstick and give it to your girlfriend. I just gave one to you. you. You're my new I girlfriend. Will. I will. And protect yourself. I will do that. And, and you, people listen to you. People, you are a true artist. I mean, you back it up because of your talent. And that is why people pay attention to you. And I gotta tell you, coming in this morning in the wee hours and seeing a lot of the 
young people out there, young mo- I've, seen, I've seen like so old right now, the, the young people that were out there, the monsters You're that were out there. You're not old. You look no, fabulous. Thank Purple's you. your color. I know, but now, now that I, <laughs> and I have the right lipstick yes, to go you with do. it now. But you have 8 million followers on Twitter, including our Richard Besser, our doctor. You have 27 million likes on Facebook. And I just want, there were a couple because we, we told them that we would do this. Some people, some of your fans ask some questions and they're really very, very sweet. Can I just ask you a couple sure. of them really great? Yes, this, of is, this is from Maggie from Georgia, and she asked, if you could work with any artist alive or dead, who would you work with and why? Well, I think that my fans are artists, so I would work with all of you. That's so sweet. Yeah, we should do a big giant worldwide song and just have all the little monsters singing at the same time. <laughs> well, you know, we did have some pictures of that. We have some pictures of your little monsters that they sent in. Aren't and they, they so amazing? Yeah, they channel you. They're very creative. Sometimes I steal ideas from them. No. Yes, I do. That's live outside right now. There's somebody that was from Sydney, Australia, who came all the way here. Well, I can't wait to go out there later and give them all big kisses and thank them for coming today. It's a, it is, see, now you see, they are not just, they're about the music, obviously, but they're not just about the music. They're about social justice and and the the change in, in our generation mm-hmm. to be more, I, I know my fans very well, and they think it's cool to be aware about sex, mm-hmm. aware about the world, and aware about things like um, HIV and AIDS and protecting yourself. Do you think they get a bum rap a, a lot of times because there's a lot of negative things that are said about uh, a certain age group and saying that you all are not, uh, you, you don't care and all those things. And we've seen with your fans and with others oh, that they that's, care. They care. They care a lot. They care deeply and they they care um, so much that I, I I can't stop caring. Mm. I can't stop giving and giving more and more to them and I will never stop making music. I will never stop working hard. Yeah. I will never stop fighting for the youth of not only this country but all the countries around the world that I've it's gotten global. to meet them in globally and uh, that's why I'm really here. It's, it's, you know, Mac doesn't just represent uh, one kind of woman uh, and or one kind of man. Mm-hmm. Uh, they represent uh, all of us and they they herald identity in such a powerful way and it's everything that I'm about it's everything that my fans are about and I really hope um, so much that with the beginning of this new album and the beginning of this new era and my career as well as the new decade mm-hmm. that we can really make people more aware about how we can protect the future generation oh well that's a perfect way to end and thank you for the gift and the thank gift you. that you give us every time you wear it you well speak. honey I will you know it goes with purple and everything I'll have to get you a church at the <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lady Gaga. <laughs> to find out how you can get involved, go to abcnews.com or saveone.net.